so anyways, um, here, here we go with part two. So, yes, I love the climactic battles of the Ip Man movies. This one is more of a soap opera. Simultaneously, while he's helping his son's school stay safe, you know, while he's preparing for another match, he's also taking care of his wife dying from cancer. There's a lot of simultaneous plots that happen in this, almost like a soap opera. It's a little hard to follow sometimes. And by that, I mean, it's gonna be, whoa, whoa, what's going on here? You're gonna go something like, whoa, what's going on? Wait, 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 who's, who's this? What's happening here? You really have to keep your eyes on the ball when it comes to the Ip Man movies. Especially when movies are like soap operas, films like Pulp Fiction, where they include multiple plots told simultaneously in a matter of speaking. Pulp Fiction's a off topic, sorry about that guys. But anyways, you know what I mean. Plots that are told, multiple different plots that are told simultaneously. Anyways, I actually like Ip Man 3 the most out of all the movies. I like Ip Man 3. It's not because they include Bruce Lee. I mean, all the films, all the, the first three films that I've seen, they've always included Bruce Lee. But this one, they included him more than the first two because it shows Bruce Lee as a student in the beginning. And then it shows him again teaching, teaching Ip Man in a dance class. I don't know if that happened in real life. But what I do know for sure is that is that Bruce Lee was his student and Ip Man was his Shifu. He was a Shifu to many. A lot of his students are still alive today. A lot of them do remember training alongside Bruce. And a lot of people remember how gifted Ip Man was. These movies are his legacy. These movies are what remind us about history. And yes, the films are great history lessons. Well, historical because the first one deals with World War II. The second one deals with him moving to Hong Kong. The third one, well, the third one shows how you, how you manage, not overcome, but manage the challenge of dealing with an ill loved one, such as your wife and your family members. It does motivate you to just stop whatever it is you're doing and enter, enter his classes, enter his school, and just learn Wing Chun. And that's the type of martial arts Bruce Lee brought to film. And a lot of us didn't know it at the time, but we do now. I am going to ditch my rating system for a little bit. Instead of saying film cameras or stars and any, but anyway, you know, I'm gonna ditch my rating system and say, do I wanna own it? Do I wanna rent it? Do I wanna watch it again? I wanna buy all Ip Man movies. I wanna buy the first three. I haven't seen the fourth one yet, but we shall see what happens in the fourth one. I'm glad I did all my research. And I think when it comes to watching historical dramas and research and researching the facts behind the movies, you should do that before you review. That's what I did, and I'm glad I did. So, for my next historical film... <clears throat> ah, here it is. The Rat Pack. HBO original movie. That won Don Cheadle a Golden Globe for playing Sammy Davis Jr.